Hi guys, how's it going? It's Malin Morris Gaming here and welcome to Train Sim World 2. Hope you're all keeping well and thank you very much for my um, last subscribers and much appreciated. Yes, we're going to be having a look at the um, Class 150-2 from Centre to St. Ives. Just a short video for this one. I haven't driven this one yet so Let's have a look at it. Um, if you haven't done so already and you're watching this for the first time, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss out on any videos, you don't have to. You can keep up to date by clicking that notification bell and YouTube will notify you of a brand new video. Let's go. We are at Center Earth Station. So let's jump in, get things set up, there are a lot of, uh, everything is all ready switched on for us, apart from the instrument lights which we shall put on. Unlock the doors, let's put the AWS on. Sit back in our seat. Are they used to the lights on? Yes. Lock the doors. And let's go. So we will be calling out Lelant, Carvis Bay, and then finally St. Ives.
Let's take a look around. Place a poster. And let's go for an ice cream. This is another place, is it? Yep. Even though it's January, let's have an ice cream. So just there is the Hale Estuary, as many of you probably already know. The sound of this unit ticking over is, is lovely. The look of the unit is fantastic. It's just the running sounds when you're going along, it's, it's just so, so off to me. It's just not right. When you have a thing about it, it's just lovely. All, all the dirt and grime around here. I don't know. What do you think of it? Have you driven this yet in Trains in World 2? If so, what are your um, thoughts? I would like to know. Let me know in the comment below. Helps to put it in forward, doesn't it? Come on, breath down. just takes so long just to to rev down it just ridiculous it really is let's break some look and the engine's still revving down to idle it's just Right, you're going to let me pull away now. It just picks up speed way too fast as well. Way, way too fast.
see there's a crossing there. There's a crossing right there. Foot passenger, well, foot crossing. But where's the whistle board? Yeah. <laughs> As you can probably tell already, I'm not a brake lover. That's why you haven't seen that many videos of West Cornwall Local. I just wanted to show you the Cellar of Cellar's route because I haven't done that one yet. But to be completely and utterly honest with you, I prefer a train sim classic. I really, really do. And apparently they used Armstrong Paros sounds on this. Well, I don't know what they've done with them. See, another another foot crossing coming up. Where was the um, whistle board? Next stop, Harvest Bay. I mean this here, all this is is stunning. Everything around here is it's just perfect. I mean, hear that sound. It sounds like we're, we're travelling at a great speed, but we're not. A notch free, that should be revving right up. Because what they do, you are know, we're going from notch zero to notch three, it revs right up. So the oil goes into the motor, so then obviously the revs drop down while the, while the unit pulls away. And they say they're meant to reviews Armstrong Powerhouse sounds on this. Maybe on ticker over here, but what they've done to the rest, I don't know.
turn off the station, it's looking lovely. We'll go out and have a little walk around in a minute before we finish off. Tick over sound is, or shall I say, idle. Idle sound is lo it's lovely. Yeah, so, yeah, this is Sun Ives. No mistake in that. Whatsoever. I mean, look at it. Look, look at the unit. And the sound of the idle. The engine idling. Yeah. That's perfect. But it's just the revving up and when you're going from full power back down to notch zero it just takes so long for the engine to die down and that's just not normal and this is meant to be train sim world sim sim if if this unit had the sounds as what the unit has in in train sim classic then this would be a joy Forget the forget the whistle boards on the route. Yeah, they I know they're missing. Be nice to see them in, but leave me alone. The sounds of this are just a disaster, complete and utter disaster. Yeah, not impressed guys. Really, really, really not impressed. Right, so there we go guys, just a short video for this one, um, I don't think I'm going to be <laughs> doing any more videos of this unit unless they make any changes. Um, let me know what you think about it in the comments below, um, you might like it, you might think the same as me, um, I might be criticising it a little bit too much, but compared to the unit in Train Sim Classic to this, there is a, a massive difference. Even here in the unit in real life, it's just <laughs> this in Train Sim World 2 is just not normal. All right, then, guys, I'm gonna have a note, I'm gonna sign off now before I start really going on a full time run. Um, again, if if you've not seen this before and you're seeing this for the first time and you haven't done so already if you want to see some more content don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you don't want to miss out on any other video you don't have to you can keep up to date by clicking on that notification bell all right guys thank you very much for watching and i shall catch you all again soon bye bye